Hello, welcome to episode 20 of the Batman painting series and this one we're focusing on the cape for the Huntress uh, using Citadel's uh, purples and uh, we've had it in a bit of retarder so um, just a quick video really just to talk you through the process rather than watching me paint the whole thing so hopefully you find it useful, cheers Right out, here we go um, as you can see I've already made a start on Huntress, almost finished her um, and the way I usually paint capes is if I can't get to the the inside of the cape I'll paint them separately so what I've done I always use a pin vise and I'll I'll drill it into a bit better where it attaches to the body so you can't see the hole um, so I've given that a couple of coats of uh, Citadel's Zerius Purple and um, we're ready to go so I've created a palette of um, Nagaroth um, I think it was Nagaroth Nightshade or Nagaroth Night it's quite a dark purple and I've got Zerius Purple Gene Stealer Purple and I've got the, the Lilac as well so I'm going to be flitting in between those two and what I do for capes is if, I don't know if you look back and check out the the red cape I did for Superman what, what I usually do is make up a, a palette I'll try and get it into shot now without tipping it that's what I've done there so I've got the uh, Nagroth Knight Zerius Purple I think that's a 50-50 mix of the Zerius and Gene Stealer that's the Gene Stealer and that's Lilac so I've got two drops of paint uh, a drop of water and two drops of retarder now, the retarder that he uses that one you can get them online um, I think it's well it was recommended to me by one of the uh, the Spanish pros he said you know it's, um, he thinks it's about the only one on the market that that acts like a liquid and it doesn't affect the paint in any way whatsoever so I believed him, I tried it, and it's really good stuff. It's a lot better than um, the other ones that I've tried, like uh, Winter and Newton ones and Vallejo. This this stuff is really good. So, you know, it does give a like a, a satin finish to start with, but when you, you only dull coat it afterwards, it, you know, it looks fine, you won't know. So, um, yeah, let's make a start. So, what I do... Um, before I actually start, I'll make a like a 50-50 mix of the retarder and water. Just one drop of water, one drop of retarder. Um, and then I'll lightly do a coat. So it gives a nice sheen and uh, you know, it, it helps the paint to blend in as well. So what what first thing you need to do then, before you start painting, is to decide where the shadows are going and where the light is. So obviously the light is going to be here and the shadows are going to be in here yeah. mild shadows deep shadows extreme highlights here here and up here and on the tops of the folds an extreme highlight here fairly light there and that's the plan anyway so um, I'm going to start with shadows and what I'll do I'll, I'll treat it like a colour by numbers then so if you remember the shot of the palette I've got five colours so I'm going to start with the absolute deep shadows first and I'll be going in there you're not going to get it first time so it may take a couple of coats on this but the good thing is because the retarder is in the paint and you put a colour next to it now, when I move to the next colour you'll see that they start blending automatically, it's magic stuff right, so I'm happy with the right, so that's the extreme shadow, so now I'm moving on to Zerius Purple I'm going to try and focus on the 
here right next to the shadow or continue the shadow area if you know what I mean because there's, there's different shades of shadow yeah, it's not going to be as extreme on this fold is it it's going to be dark right in the crease so now I'm moving on to it's a 50-50 mix of Xerius and Jean Steeler Purple. I'll do that edge there. I think once once you decide where each colour is going, this is quite easy. But the hard bit is deciding. Don't worry if you're, you're not perfect because we'll do a couple of coats. Alright, so I'm on to uh, Jean Steel Purple Lamps out now. And I'm going on the tops of the folds and on the highlighted areas now. I'm just going to leave this to dry now. Okay, so here's the fun bit. Um, I've added a little bit of black to the the darkest mix, um, the Nagaros Night. Uh, I'm going back in. Just into the darkest parts, and I've added a little bit of uh, white ink to the lilac. Um, I'm just going to use that for like the absolute edges. I'm just using the side of my brush there. the very top I'm going to have to refocus because I need to tilt it so I'm working on the top folds now so I'm, I've got a lilac again just picking out the top folds again what I'll do with the the lilac and the white in it is to just quickly go over the top but in a smaller area and I'm not going as far down as I did with the the lilac on its own and I've got too much paint on my brush actually uh, because you've got uh, the tartar in the paint it extends the drying time so you've got time now to Either add a little bit of lilac to your brush and try and feather it in, get a, a transition there. So it doesn't look, you know, like a, a stark ending. And I'm going in with the Jean Steeler now, Jean Steeler Purple. Um, I'm just adding in some more bits there just to 
change certain areas but again because I've got the retarder in there I just whack my brush and blend over the edges I think I've got a little bit of purple still on my brush there because it's gone quite dark isn't it? that's a bit better so you can have a play here and if you think one area needs a, another colour or another coat this is the time to do it uh, let's play about until you get a tone that you like see I'm doing Gene Steeler there and Lilac either side of it it's got a feather in between so they blend together nicely so have a play until you get the uh, the highlight areas and the shadow areas that you like I'm gonna put a little bit of a darker shadow in there as well um, I think it's just the Nagaroth night on its own If you're not happy with blending, just put a colour lighter right next to it and just try and blur the lines together. Yeah, and just have a play. And there we are finished. Um, glued in place. Uh, my cold is getting worse. <laughs> Um, hope you find it useful. As I say, if you can get hold of some of that retarder, um, it slows down the drying time, makes the blending a lot easier. Um, hope you find it useful, and we'll see you in the next one. All I've got to do now is to find an actual arrowhead to go at the top of the crossbow, and I'll be happy. So, yeah, see you in the next one. Cheers.